come to play today, and they're very serious. Here comes Double Jeopardy with these titles. Mashed up book titles. You have to name the two books by the same author that we have combined in the clues. Next, you deal with wildlife. One hit wonders. U.S. colony names. Oh, not sorry. E-A-U coming up in each correct response. And finally, last. Melinda, you start. One hit wonders, 400. In 1983, Jump in the Saddle released its only hit record, The Curly Shuffle, a tribute to this comedy team. Jill. Who are the three stooges? That's right. Uh, wildlife, 400. The San Diego Zoo says this ursine carnivore can smell prey on ice 20 miles away. Melinda. What is a polar bear? Good. One hit wonders, 800. He died of cardiac arrest in 1996, moments after singing his lone hit, Tiptoe Through the Tulips with Me. Ben. Who is Tiny Tim? He's the one. One hit wonders for 1,200. Bertie Higgins' only top 40 hit. It was inspired by a 1948 Bogart Bacall flick set on a Florida island. Ben. What is Key Largo? Right. One hit wonders for 1,600. Mm -hmm. Daniel Powder's one hit came in 2006 when he sang, Cause you had this, maybe tomorrow will be better. Ben. What is a bad day? Right. One hit wonders for 2000. 1983's Too Shy was the peak for this group with baby talk in its name. Ben? What is Kajagugu? Right. Oh, not oh, sorry for 400. It can be a government department or a chest of drawers. Melinda? What is a bureau? Good. Oh, 800. When someone hits one of these, it stops increasing after a period of growth. Ben? What is a plateau? Plateau, that's the word. Oh, not sorry, for 1,200. At the start of winter, this state capital barely gets six and a half hours of daylight. Jill. What is Juno? Good. Uh, wildlife, 800. Badger and Toad could hang with the star-nosed this seen here. Melinda. What is a platypus? No. Nope. Jill. What is a mole? A mole, that's it. Wildlife, 1,200. As if it's not freaky enough, a male duck billed this has spurs behind each ankle that are connected to poison glands. Jill. What is a platypus? Yes, and you're looking at Melinda. She came in one clue too early. Go again. Oh, wildlife 1600? The mud puppy, a type of this amphibian, breathes through gills even though it has lungs. Jill. What is a salamander? That's right. Uh, wildlife 2000. This blood-sucking, eel-like fish arrived in Lake Erie around 1920. Within 25 years, all the Great Lakes were infested. Oh. Jill. What is a lamprey? Lamprey. You're at 12,000, and you have regained the lead. Uh, matched up book titles, 400. Charlotte's Little. Melinda. What is Charlotte's Web and Stuart Little? Correct. Matched up book titles, 800. Answer. <laughs> Well, both Ben and Jill have been on a bit of a run. Maybe now it's your turn. You have 5,100. I'll wager 3,000. Three it is. Here is the clue. A is for trespass. What is A is for alibi and T is for trespass? That's right. Yes, you figured it out. Good for you. Let's do matchup of titles for 1,200. In cold Tiffany's. Melinda. What is In Cold Blood and Breakfast at Tiffany's? Right. Mashed up of title 1600. Mansfield Abbey. Melinda. What is Mansfield Park and... It took too long. Jill. What is Mansfield Park and Northanger Abbey? That's it. Uh, mashed up of titles 2000. The Pickwick Shop. Jill. What is Pickwick Papers and the Old Curiosity Shop? Yes. Uh, colony names 400. This colony's name came from one of the Channel Islands. Ben. What is New Jersey? Yes. Uh, oh, not sorry for 1600. <laughs> named for a region of Burgundy, it's a red wine drunk when it's young. The Nouveau type when it's very young. Ben. What is Chablot? No. Melinda. What is Beaujolais? Beaujolais, yes. Oh, not sorry, 2000. It's the clothing and linens a bride assembles for her marriage. Melinda. What is a dowry? No. Nope. Oh. Jill. What is a trousseau? Yes, the EAU coming up. Uh, Colleen's 800. Rhode Island may be named for a place in this sea. 
Jill. What is the Mediterranean Sea? I want you to be more specific than that. What is the... Oh, sorry. Ben? What is the Aegean Sea? The Aegean Sea, that's right. Uh, Colony Nunes, 1200. Answer. <laughs> the other day we double. Category and a half still in play, but you deal with this daily double all by yourself. I'll wager 4,000. All right, here's the clue. Massachusetts means at the big one of these, Colony Governor John Winthrop said, we shall be as a city upon one of these. Was it, what is a hill? Hill is right, yes. <laughs> You're closer to the lead now. Colony name 1600? New York is named for the Duke of York, who would become this king in 1685. Ben. Who is King George the First? No. Uh -oh. Melinda or Jill? Who is James the Second? Ben, back to you. Colony names for 2000. Pennsylvania comes from the Latin for this area of Penn. Penn referring to William Penn's dad. Melinda. What is Valley? No. Jill. What is Woods? Woods is right, yes. Uh, last 400. Thomas McKean was the last to sign this document sometime after January 18th, 1777. Melinda. What is the Declaration of Independence? Correct. 800, please. In 1995, the funnies got less funny with the ending of both The Far Side and this comic strip by Bill Watterson. Ben? What is Calvin and Hobbes? Yes. Last for 1200. Here's Sarah. The Space Shuttle Endeavor's final mission began May 16, 2011. Among those watching the launch was this Arizona Congresswoman, whose husband, Mark Kelly, was on board as commander. Ben. Who is Giffords? Yes, Gabrielle Giffords. Last for 1600. Lord John Russell, who left office in 1866, was the last Prime Minister of Great Britain who was one of these foes of the Tories. Melinda. One of the Whigs? Whigs is right. Now the last clue. This Hitler deputy was the last prisoner at both the Tower of London and Spandau. And his name is Rudolf Hess. Okay, three of you still alive for Final Jeopardy, in which the category today is this, 1970s films. Think about it. Make your wager. Somebody doesn't look happy. We'll find out why when we come back.